The job we've given our schools is simply impossible on their own. If others aren't coming along to help young people with leadership development, help them with conflict resolution, help them with alternatives to suspension and being put out of schools, if somebody's not coming alongside our schools and doing that, they're simply not going to get the job done of preparing our young people for the 21st century. So there are many organizations in the city of Boston uh, who are doing this work. We have the opportunity here at Trinity to bring these organizations together, whether it be in youth development, in education specifically, and use Trinity as a central hub to continue the conversations about how we improve our work. I think Sam Lloyd made it really clear early on uh, that he wanted Trinity to have an impact not just on downtown Boston, but all of Boston. And that he was committed to finding partners whom he could learn from and whom he could work with. He was someone who was willing to be a bridge builder uh, then and now at times when a lot of people were trying to build barriers. It was under Sam's leadership that TEEP, the Counseling Center, and the Trinity Boston Foundation were formed. So TEEP stands for the Trinity Education for Excellence Program, and we work with Boston youth. They're kids, and kids are gonna do exactly the opposite of what you're gonna tell them unless you show them exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So a lot of it's leading by example. Being that leader and taking that role and really internalizing what you're supposed to be doing when you're supposed to be doing it. Um, that's the biggest thing for me that Teep gave me. Uh, and the idea is to really instill into students a sense of uh, a core values and a compass around their decision making. I thought my words didn't matter. I thought my words were like irrelevant, a waste of time. I feel like Teep has pushed me to be more intentional with my choices. So those moments where you see a student really surprise themselves in what they're able to do and what they're willing to do, it's, there's nothing more rewarding. They have the magic, they, I swear, like once you go through the program, they have the magic to make you feel like you matter. And then they're gonna show you that you matter. I think that the young people of Boston, and particularly the young people of color in this city, are dealing with a legacy in this country of racial injustice. The young people that we have the privilege of working with at the foundation are amazingly resilient and the things that they are dealing with in terms of the trauma that comes from living in a neighborhood that has a lot of violence, that has a lot of drugs, but we believe that they already have what they need to be successful and it's just that society has kind of stacked against them in a lot of ways. The staff here support me and they're nice. If I'm having trouble in class, I can come here. Trinity at McCormick, they actually really encourage us to do better. They even help the teachers on understanding students more. I see more teachers kind of taking a step back and taking a breath rather than just going on emotion of whether to punish a student or not. So we don't want to just help a young person deal with a teacher better. We also want to try to help that teacher understand the young person better. We want to try to help the system do a better job of, of taking care of our young people. And this idea of being embedded, what I call moving in. So we really go into a system and get to know the people, really build relationships. You can affect change more easily and more readily if people trust you because they know you. I wasn't very hopeful when I signed up, but after a while I began to see this was less therapy and more learning how to deal with your emotions rather than to put them off to the side and ignore them. I feel like I'm more emotionally and mentally stable to the point where I can deal with my problems in a way that's not self-destructive or outwardly destructive. I founded Soul Train Boston Runs together with seven youth and eight volunteers. The idea of the program was to invite youth, most of whom had never run before, to train for a big race. We have grown to the point, we're in 15 schools, we have over 200 young people involved in the program and over 100 volunteers. The whole point of Soul Train is to foster a community where I run five miles every day and one person's like, I don't run at all. And you see them running together because they're pushing each other, they're pushing each other um, to run further and further and achieve excellence. 
if you're having a bad day, it's like at least you can come and have fun kind of, like get all that stress off. Or like if you feel like you need to talk about it, there's a lot of people here that and listen. The hope is that, that they feel like they can achieve things that maybe they didn't think they could before. And at the end, I feel like you have that energy to just go faster and do it more. So it's like once you finish, it's like, we just did that. Like. <laughs> One of the things that I love most about Trinity Boston Foundation is that we believe in the incredible power and resilience of our young people and that they can be agents of change in their own lives and that we as Trinity Boston Foundation programs can be agents of change in this city. You have to be committed and you have to be forward thinking. Trinity Boston Foundation does that. So they're giving the youth in our community a voice, they're giving them focus and guidance and specifically showing them how great they can be. We've accomplished a lot over the course of the last 10 years, um, but we're also really excited about the future. We're trying to bring different organizations throughout the city together in as many ways as we can help each other do better and be better and that we can learn and support one another. That is, that is ultimately the goal. The things that we're talking about turning around didn't start last year or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. We're, we're trying to get at the root of problems that are transgenerational, uh, problems that trace back to the very founding of our country that are part of the human condition. These things don't change easily, nor do they change quickly, but they do change. That we can see. And if we can stay in this together, uh, we can make change that's not only deep, but lasting.